Hi, I'm Daisy Reed, and on this week's Lux Girl Show, I'm joined by Eliza Batten, Winnie Malcolm and Prue Fisher for another episode of the Lux Girl Group Chat. If you're in need of some festive style inspo, we have a mega party wear unboxing with celebrity stylist Jessie Stein. Plus, from an impressive helter-skelter to some seriously yummy Christmas food, Lux Girl's resident foodie and influencer duty reviewed Selfridges Christmas Market to see if it's worth the hype. Finally, from cute stocking fillers to the products at the top of our wish list, we've created an edit of the best beauty and gym girl gift guides this Christmas. But first, we're back with the Lux Girl group chat where we tackle your Ask Us Anything questions. Okay, first dilemma. He's called me by... He's called me by his ex's name whilst we've been on a night out. Is this a red flag? We have been together for three months. <laughs> mm. Well, firstly, I can say I've done this. Have you? Yeah. And you just have to pretend it never happened. Well, so you just say, like, so oh, I, I didn't... I would miss her that. Yeah. No, I just wouldn't bring it up. I just no, I it. think that's worse. I've, I've never done it, but I've had it to me. And they pretended nothing had happened. And I find that's more awkward. I like, agree. I think that you just apologise. You say, sorry, muscle memory, <laughs> like, my bad. Yeah. And you make a joke of it. I've had um, the mum call me the ex multiple times. My oh, mum's no. done it to one of my boyfriends no. called by the ex multiple times. Mums, it's harder because they just have conveyor belts coming in. They can't keep up. Whoa, yeah. that makes up things me in a really <laughs> bad light, doesn't it? I think it's harder with mums. But no, I think you just have to, it's not a big deal. Yeah. I don't think it's a red flag. And they've only been together three months. Yeah. I would say not I don't red think flag. it's a red flag. No. I know so many people it's happened to and... Luckily, not me, but I think you just got to ignore it and hope that it doesn't happen again. Okay, so how do you feel confident in a big group? My girlfriends are all so loud and I feel I go a bit unnoticed. If the first thing you might need to ask yourself, is it something that you're really insecure about or are you just a quieter person? Because I've got a couple of friends in my group who are, they would call themselves the listeners, but they're really comfortable in that. They know yeah. that you know that's their sort of in a big group they re retreat a bit but they're happy with that mm. yeah like if you're a quiet person in a loud group of people you don't necessarily have to follow the herd like mm. you just be yourself and maybe if you have something to say and you feel like you can't because other people are loud that might be another thing i think if you if you're not naturally loud and out there then you can't force it and you don't have to be like be the be the cool quiet one i think <laughs> like it's yeah. cool to be like so no, it was like, it. Nah, all the time, mm. yeah. I think, yeah. Things but it well. is hard when you're with those groups that you have to wait for a breath before you jump in. Yeah. Mm. It's a bit like now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go. I'm Jessie Stein and I am a fashion stylist. I have done a huge order of all the things that I'm planning on wearing over the festive period and I wanted to show you how I'm going to style them all up. So come and take a look. So Christmas is all about the sequins and the sparkles. So I've got this River Island sequined mini dress. It's got that tie waist detail and a V-neck neckline, which is super flattering. And V-necks are really good for those who may have a fuller bust. And the belt detail is also really nice because you'll still be able to see that shape. And I think I'm just gonna pair this with my black strappy heels, which is perfect for a work Christmas party or an office Christmas party. So yeah, it's great for the festive season. So if you're not a sequin type of gal, but you still do wanna have some fun with your wardrobe over the festive season, then I am a bit obsessed with this mini skirt with the bow detail and sequins on the side because it still is fun. It's still, you know, you can wear it with your black body and your heels for the evening for a work party. But then I also feel like you can wear it in the day with black tights, bike boots, and jumper and make it a bit more edgier, a bit more cooler. So yeah, I love this because you not only can wear it over a festive period, but it's just a great item to have in your wardrobe anyway. So next up is this velvet mini dress with this bow detail on the shoulder. And firstly, I mean, velvet it is everywhere right now. Velvet tops, velvet suits. It is definitely trending over this autumn winter. And what I love about this dress is that this bow is detachable. So not only can you have some fun over Christmas period, but sometimes you just want to stick on a little black dress with some heels, which you can do with this anyway. So 
yeah this is this is a great option so i was struggling for some time finding an outfit for a work event i had i didn't want to go full out sequin dresses but i also didn't really want to play it safe and wear jeans and a nice top so what i found was this cute little sequin crop top and i thought of pairing it over a white t-shirt with jeans and some heels but you can still wear this with your leather trousers, your black suit trousers if you're going straight from work. You know, it is so, so versatile, but I did just wanna have some fun with it and just do something a bit different. So yeah, this is also a really, really cute idea to wear over the festive period. So next up, I've got an off-white suit. I've got the blazer and the trousers here and the blazer has a cinched waist, which is so on trend right now. And what I love about this is that you don't always have to wear the sequin dresses and the sparkles and the glitz and the glam. You can just wear a suit and look powerful and structured and classic and elegant. So I love a suit because you can also wear the blazer with jeans, you know, with trainers, but you can wear the trousers with a knitted jumper. It's so, so easy to style up. So yeah, if you are going out and you did want to wear a suit, if you're going straight from the office to your work party, then this is definitely the one because you can also wear it with heels, you can pair it with trainers, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. So yeah, it is perfect and I do love a suit. my absolute best friend for Christmas on a budget. I think yeah. anything personalised and sentimental yeah. is always a winner. Um, my best friend got me for my 21st, actually she just stumbled across, and I know you can't guarantee this, but a little vintage mirror that wasn't was quite inex inexpensive but it had my initials on it it was yeah. really random yeah. so but cute. you know stuff like that means a lot yeah photo albums and like little jars with all your favorite Definitely. things about each other things yeah. like that it's cute cool. things like a sentimental friendship sentimental, box cute stuff yeah. making things we we're saying earlier that you know all these phone beads and things that are so yeah. in fashion you could probably go on amazon buy a bead set well yeah. don't you make bracelets yeah you do That's i do i, I do with. house of surreal is where you can get your best friends their beads for Christmas. Brilliant. Um, and you can do the hard work. Yeah, you can do the hard work. Scrap that. I can do it all. I'll just be some phone charms. <laughs> yeah, phone charms. I love your a best good phone Yeah, charm. that's a good present because like sometimes they, your best friend might not want to wear the beaded necklaces and bracelets. They might be a bit more like low key. So Something the phone like charm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, like literally like that. One. Literally that. So cool. Um, and they can all be personalised. Exactly. Initials. That's the good. way to go, I think. Yeah. yeah. Right. I really want to be that girl. Do you have any good tips on PM and AM routines to help sort my life out? Firstly, can someone here define that girl? That girl, have you not seen it? It's trending on TikTok. <laughs> no. It's like the gym it. girl. Just the sort of the girl that washes her sheets every Sunday. <laughs> just oh. yeah. Just I have not, not me girl. My floor for about four weeks. <laughs> so I'm not sure I can partake in this. I go through phases. I think I either go through a phase of being an absolute slob kebab or I have five minutes of self-care mm. that where I'm like feeling, yeah. you know, oh, five minutes, five maybe minutes. like a morning. Yeah. And yeah. then I let yeah. it. it yeah, like it or I could, So yeah, I, need, I need that advice. This, I, I, yeah, I, I, know. I write this. <laughs> that girl. Ooh. I think for me, it's getting up early yes. and making it a non-negotiable. So as soon as that alarm goes off, get, get up. out and go to the gym or mm. get, just get up. Yeah. You know, the longer you leave it, you literally have 15 seconds and then, you know, if you decide to snooze, <laughs> then your that your morning so is you off. You should be like motivational speaker. I'm like, okay, 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 yeah, let's go, let's go. No, yeah. that's my that's my AM yeah. AM routine. If you want to be that girl, it's about being that girl for you. So yeah. I think if you if you really value fitness, like lead with that, and then let everything else go around it. Or if you really value self care, skincare, like make that your thing, and see how much other stuff can come into that. Like for me. At the moment, like I'm really loving like my skincare and stuff, and it takes a lot of time, and it's like 
exhausting. So I kind of like will wake up in the morning and I'll do my little routine. And I'll do my routine at night. And then if I've got space for yoga after work, I'll do it. But I won't beat myself up about yeah, it yeah. because I'm being that girl for, for you. me. Yeah. 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 And no, lists. Does any, has anyone lists. else lists? Yeah, I mean, my iPhone notes is just full of lists. <laughs> I love a good list. So and good. just the satisfaction mm. of ticking it off. Yes, that I would agree with. You do need to have it written down. Do you I make a list of like things that you've already done? So to tick, just to just tick. tick. I add like a few of those in just so I can like... You feel you've you got a head start. Got a head it, start helps, like, it helps to know you've done it. It's like it gives you the confidence <laughs> I've done that so I can do all that other it's stuff. Like, what about up. you, Pro? Do you, do you have any... I do a week list. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, no, because like... I, like I have to, I'm super organised, yeah. Virgo and me, it's like... <laughs> oh, you're oh, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo. Well, yeah. this doesn't yeah. count. No, but it does, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I do it and then I'll add things to it, tick them off, but then there will be a good quarter of that that will go like every week, come onto the new like list every okay. week. Yeah, yeah. I can't. But I just think as long as you can do some things, mm, don't exactly. beat yourself up if you don't do them all. I'm GT, you can find me at Where GT Eats on Instagram. Today we're on another foodie adventure. We're at Market on the Muse, which is the muse behind Selfridges. Tickets are completely free to book, you just book them online and we're just gonna try loads of food. First stop, we've just picked up some mulled wine. I didn't know mulled wine came like with white wine. So we've both got mulled wine with white wine, so cheers. Next up, we're going to this place that my friend Yasmin is literally obsessed with. It is called Treats Club. It's a dessert bar. And we basically asked what was the most popular and also what was the most visually aesthetic. And we're going for this one here. So it's the white chop kinder and Oreo s'mores. I mean, how unreal does that sound? Guys, look how amazing this looks. So we've got the s'mores, the deep fried Oreos, and then the white Kinder, yeah. white Kinder chocolate dip there. There is that sweet Oreo. Oh. <laughs> that is so good. You have to try this. Oh my God, it's going everywhere. You have to try this. Wow. That is so like thick, like the marshmallow is so thick and pins is like, oh, wow. We now just popped into a pop dogs to get our savoury fits because to me, nothing says Christmas market like a good sausage and a bun. Obviously they don't eat meat, so it's ideal because they are all plant-based. We've got the 70 year old toddler, I think that's a pork sausage with sauerkraut i think it's got fried onion like pickles caramelized onions mustard ketchup so it's like your classic hot dog i feel we are now at chin chin ice cream so they do those famous hot chocolates that have like the s'mores on top so indulgent. I've actually never tried one before, so this will be my first time trying it. Insane. Look at that. Wow. Honestly, quite scared to get into this. <laughs> yeah, scoop it. You got this, taste test. That chocolate is so rich, that is so nice. I mean, this cup situation, is key. We are absolutely stuffed. We're full of chocolate, toasted marshmallows. It's amazing. If you have a few hours spare in London, definitely do head down. As I said, tickets are free. You just need to book a space online. And that is it from us. We're going to head home now. So I hope you've enjoyed this little festive excursion with us and it's got you into the Christmas spirit. And hopefully I will see you guys soon. London but I've been put off by other people saying it's too expensive. I currently live with my parents and commute three times a week but might be full time soon. I see how much my friends are enjoying it, should I take the plunge? I mean I am sometimes very envious of people that are commuting and saving the money because 
it's London is so hard to say. Mm. But she clearly wants to have the experience of not just working, of being out with friends. And if you've got to finish work and then be back home, probably before one, because it's the last train, I guess. Yeah. Then I'd say go for it. It will be expensive, but any city is expensive. If you're going to do it, and be it's young. that balance between saving but also life is for living. Life experience, um, and you don't want to look back and regret. Yeah, and I think particularly mm. in your twenties. Yeah. What, what do you think, Prue? I would move. Come to London. Yeah. Come, come <laughs> yeah. to London. You can find ways of doing it. But uh, it is expensive, obviously. But you just would have to maybe be a yeah, bit more way out on yourself. Value. Maybe see if she can move in with friends. Yeah. Definitely do your budgeting, look around different areas. Like there's always gonna be those people who like anti Londoners, anti city people. I'm sure it's probably maybe have friends from home who are like, Oh, it's so expensive but Or your parents that you yeah. know, they might be a factor. But mm. I just say like go for it, do your research. And if it doesn't work out, move move, move back. back. So I found these cute little leopard print heels with the sequin straps and it's also got a really good heel height because I struggle with heels, I mean my feet cannot hack anymore. So I feel like these are really good height and leopard print will never go out of fashion. It just comes back every single year, every single season and my all time favourite combination is leopard print and the colour red, they just look so good together. But yeah, you can obviously pair this with your little black dress or your jeans and a t-shirt if you know, you're going for drinks and you did want to wear heels but not an over the top outfit sort of thing. So yeah, I feel like these will actually be so popular. So moving on to accessories now, I got these Zara drop earrings. Now I'm normally a gold hoop kind of girl. I don't really go for like the big sparkly earrings, but I actually kind of love them. They're different, they're fun. I feel like they are becoming more of a trend now. More people are starting to wear bigger earrings and you know, focusing more on your accessories. Don't be afraid to mix your metals. It doesn't matter if you wear gold earrings and a silver necklace. There are no rules anymore. So yeah, have fun with it. And I do feel like these are a great start. These are super fun. So next up is this Zara Pearl handbag. It's got a longer strap and a shorter strap, which I love because it's nice to have the option. And this is just a fun all round bag, really. You can wear it in the festive period, but I also kind of love it for the summer, you know, with your denim shorts or your play suit or your mini dress or whatever it may be. So I feel like this is a really cute, fun bag to have in your wardrobe for the whole year round, really. So moving on from all the sequins and the sparkles and the glitz and the glam, it is also winter. So you do want to wrap up warm and I've been on the hunt for a jacket that I can wear on my walks, but also to my pub lunch, to my lunch with my friends or whatever it may be. And I found this H&M Sherpa jacket, which I'm obsessed with. It also has a hood which is just perfect. I mean, it's actually so hard to find a jacket with a hood these days anyway, and it is the warmest thing ever. So I'd wear this over my tracksuit sets, but also pair it with my jeans and a knitted jumper and boots, which would also style it up and make it look cool as well. So yeah, I, I love this and it is super, super versatile. So I hope you enjoyed my unboxing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Christmas wish list? I'd say I've, I've been looking all autumn for an oversized blazer and mm. I think I'm going to add that on my list. I might have missed the boat on it because then it's like December and it might be a bit cold but we'll layer up underneath yeah. oversized for a reason. Yeah. Um, I'm looking for just a belt. I don't have a belt Ooh. which is so weird. Like a waist belt, belt or like a hip, Yeah just hippie. a black plain Every smart day. belt. Nice. Nice. Mm. Lifelong belt. Um, and then oh what Leather trousers, she says that she's wearing them, but um, 
mine are a bit skinny. I like the look of you, your straight legs. Straight legs. Yeah. Leg. Straight um, legs. Yeah. Nose. I used to, bit of a disclaimer, used to go under the tree and unwrap my presents, look oh, at them and rewrap no. them Why when my you? parents were out. And I thought I'd grown out of it, but apparently not. Can confirm, belt is in. Yeah. Ooh. So you're the type of person when you pick up, you know, when you're all opening the presents, you've already. Oh, I know you've exactly. You've already felt it, them. guessed it. No, no, no. I've unwrapped it, got the sellotape tape out the drawer, rewrapped it. it. What for the joy of Christmas? You know everything. No, no, I'm a control freak. It's you like nothing <laughs> joyful about surprises. <laughs> but terrifying. <laughs> when are you gone? Me. What are yours? Okay, right. Are yours? Mine. Okay, right. So I've got. I'd say firstly, ugh. They're like Ugg clogs almost. And I, I think I saw them on Georgina Lennon's Instagram. They're really low. Honestly, I nearly, I nearly screamed. They were so nice. They're, they've got like an Aztec trim on the front and around and they kind of scoop down. The second one, again, probably shoes. Um, the Russell and Bromley dupe of the row kind of zip boots. Cool. Yeah. Um, they're so expensive, mm. like nearly a grand. But these dupes are like pretty good and they're really well made as well. Mm. Um, I actually have dupe of the Russell and Bromley do dupe. Do you really? Uh, Zara, <laughs> Zara for like 40 quid. Really? really? Um, mm. They've got the zip ones. Do they? Really Ooh, nice. nice. Right, so I'm going to cheat on my one because mm -hmm. I'm absolutely beauty obsessed. It's the Beauty Effect box. I don't know if you've seen it. It's this kind of really cute pink quilted box and it has a mirror in it. Everywhere you can store your makeup in, different lighting settings, and it's just so cool. So you. So me. Like, on the way in the taxi in the Uber, I'll be like, forget that <laughs> light at the top with my mirror. I'm just going to so pop that open. And I bet it goes like, oh. Yeah, literally. <laughs> it's like a, oh. I bet there is a light. It's basically like that. It's amazing. Gorgeous. What about you? I, mine would be a Frankie Shot Blazer. Ooh. Do you know which one? I think I would go for the kind of grey colour. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen it? I have. Yeah. With a I said I was on a hunt for a blazer. I <laughs> that was the one you should get. You should get <laughs> Um, I would want, there's a really cool Fiorucci bucket hat. Cool, oh, cool. Which is like cool. a kind of blue fur. Quite cool. <laughs> um, is it a fluffy one? I've seen the fluffy bucket hats are. It is, they're it's fluffy back, bucket. They? They're coming back. Yeah. They are. I saw like a fluffy black one as well. They, I think they're coming back mm. for winter. And I think another thing would be one of the House of Sunny Bomber jackets. Oh, cool. cool. Mm. Jackets theme. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back with another Lux Girl show in two weeks filled with fashion, beauty and more chats.